Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sandra and this is the Sawdust Girl Workshop. Once I finished successfully installing all of my drawers, thankfully without any more breaking drawer glides, I moved on to building all of my drawer fronts. And this is the reason I bought my big old jet drum sander. I love that thing, but I'm way ahead of myself. Stick around and I will show you the process that I went through to build my pantry drawer fronts. After carefully measuring my cabinet opening and double, triple, quadruple checking my math, I cut all of my rail and style pieces to length on my miter saw. I'm using one by three poplar because that's my preferred wood for painted cabinet doors and drawer fronts. I set up my table saw with a dado set and I'm cutting my rabbit for my panel. I did something a little differently with these drawer fronts. I'm using a half inch plywood for my panel. I usually do a quarter inch, but I want the reveal to be the same on the drawer fronts as the doors throughout the kitchen and pantry. And I don't want any space behind the panel. So I'm filling the entire space up with the panel. So seems logical. I don't know why I have never done it before. I go ahead and cut all the rails and styles and then I use my miter gauge to hold the wood perfectly perpendicular as I cut these ends of my styles. Now just a quick dry fit to verify that my sizes are correct. And while I don't show it, I did have to go do some trimming and re-rabbiting on a couple ends. Measure twice, cut once, measure again, cut again. Something like that. The dry fit also allowed me to measure for my panel. I didn't try to cut all of my panels at once because all of my drawer fronts are different sizes, slightly different. So I just kind of sized them as I went. Cutting the reverse rabbit on the end of the style creates a lap joint, but there's nothing to hold the parts together. It's just that it's just an open lap joint, if that is even a word. So I'm using loose tenons to strengthen the joint, give me a little more glue surface and hold the parts together until the glue dries. And because these are drawer fronts, they'll be attached securely to the front of the drawers. There won't be a lot of tension put on any of these joints. So I'm just doing one tenon on each joint just to give me something to hold all the parts and pieces together until the glue sets up and I can get them installed. I apply glue to all of the surfaces where the wood will be touching, including inside the mortise and all over the tenon. The panel is secured with glue and weighted down with whatever I could find until the glue dried. Once everything was dry, I started running everything through my drum sander. I wanted to use the drum sander because it evens and smooths everything out while keeping it perfectly flat. If I use my orbital sander, sometimes I tend to focus on a joint too much and create little dips. The coarser sandpapers do leave sanding marks on the opposing grain, but just with any 
sanding process as you increase your grit you remove the marks from the previous grit so it works the same as with like an orbital or hand sander i went ahead and started with 80 went up to 120 and ended with 220. i finished up with 220 by hand inside the panel and on the reveal and i used my orbital sander with just a light touch and 220 grit sandpaper on the whole surface just to get a really baby's bottom smooth drawer front. And I did sand the backs of the drawer fronts as well. I didn't really care about the entire thing, but the outer half inch to an inch will be visible. So I'm going to sand and prime and paint that just like the rest of the drawers. Then I vacuumed and wiped and I probably found some more imperfections that I puttied and sanded and vacuumed and wiped again. And now I need to dry fit these to make sure they fit perfectly within my cabinet openings. But I don't want my eyes to be tricked by the variation in color, so I'm going to prime these drawer fronts so that when I install these, everything's the same color and I can focus simply on sizing and spacing. And as soon as these dry, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.